So I introduce to you my dear friend John, who has at his disposal a uh, tank filled with water, slightly elevated above ground level. He's wired, he's connected a hose to this water tank, and he's now watering uh, the garden with this system. Now John is getting a little bit of pressure out of his hose because he elevated the water tank above ground level. Now you can compare the pressure in the hose to the equivalent of electrical pressure. And this is what we refer to as voltage. So just compare the pressure in the hose with electrical pressure called voltage. Now, if we would keep the situation as is, but we would change only one thing, we would increase the diameter of the hose quite substantially. I'm sure you can understand that there's now more water flowing out of the system, right? So you can imagine that the amount of water flowing out of the hose is in some way similar to the amount of current, so the amount of amperage in an electrical circuit. Now let's change the system back to its original condition again. So we reduce the diameter of the hose, but now instead what we would change is we would raise the tank quite a bit further off the ground. So it would give the, the system much longer legs. Now you can imagine that as a result, you've got much more pressure available at the end of the hose, so much more water is coming out. But now imagine that if you would also increase the diameter of the hose, even more water is coming out. So a very large quantity of water is flowing out of the hose at this point. So I'm just explaining in this simple way because I think this makes it very easy to understand that the amount of uh, useful power that you're getting out of the system is the equivalent of the pressure times the flow. And that, so the electrical equivalent is that the power that you're getting out of your electrical system is the voltage multiplied by the amperage. So well done for sticking with me so far. If you keep this thing imprinted in your brain, so power equals voltage times amperage, you're way out of the rest because it's a very basic uh, principle, but you'll see it coming back a lot of times and I'll often throughout the, uh, whatever I'm explaining, I'll often refer to this principle. So now, all right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. Now that we got voltage and amperage out of the way, let's look at the next subtopic in this chapter, which is regarding power ratings. So how is power being identified and what kind of terminology are we using to describe power?